Well, on the overcrowded workbench tonight we have four sheets of thin metal 1.2 mil and I'm going to be cutting out some letters from it N E W N S spells news but if you look up the more, a lot of old rooftops in the UK and in fact all around the world you'll see the same letters displayed on a weather vane so I'm doing these for a friend an acquaintance at the, the model engineering club asked me if he, if I could cut some out for him so I've done the the drawing in Fusion 360 and also the cam in Fusion 360 pretty straightforward just drew the letters out to his drawing and then I used the offset function to offset the lines five millimeters parallel on the part well, well five meter five millimeters around the outside of the letters and then I just joined those the gaps with a, a series of I forgot what they call them now but uh, little pieces of material so that they don't try to climb out as you cut the profile out they'll climb out through the metal and can grab the cutter I'll be using a three mil cutter which is quite small I might even put the crest spindle in for that though I'm not sure I think 5000 rpm would be okay with this thin metal just cut the speed back a bit we'll see how it goes if it if it starts getting a bit lumpy I will change out and put the crest spindle in but anyway first job marked out all the positions here for some holes to secure it to this block of wood here uh, with some wood screws so I can clamp it down firmly it's very thin it's probably the only way I've got to clamp it I haven't got a magnetic table that big so it's no good uh, doing it that way so I'll drill these holes and then secure it to the wood with the uh, wood screws and then clamp the wood to the table the machine sets off in the center as well so I'll mark the center position on the material well here we are cutting the letters again the first attempt I don't it was just horrible the cutter went down uh, in a spiral tool path cut a hole and then for whatever reason it decided as soon as it moved off in a horizontal direction to snap the cutter so I went back to the drawing board had a look at the program and while I was in there I discovered that uh, one of the tabs on the letter W was incorrect so I corrected that and I looked at the program closely and basically I believe the problem there with the ramping commands and I changed that and it seems to be okay at the moment so we'll leave it at that and see what happens and I just noticed they it skipped over that bolt head and it looks as though there's just enough here still on the first pass but making progress as you can see most of the letter N done and well into the letter E and so far so good the letter E uh, probably got the biggest gaps between screws I think really far to the letter N as well so hopefully it cuts through the first layer it won't uh, lift up to the it, it's well protected by the screws to hold it down but you can see the setup is quite, quite simple. So that's us on the last part of the first pass. Um, just looking at the performance of the cutter, it's leaving a lot more raised edges. Uh, you might not be able to see them from here. So they're not too bad, but I couldn't get the tool set that I want, so I want to watch it and it's the next cut which will actually go through the layer between the two plates, so basically the next cut will if you like, expose one of the letters completely, and it's at that point that if the tool grabs, it's going to do it, you know, it's not the critical point, so I don't know why it's 
gives it a spindle speed somewhere in there it's not other than at the start it's not going to obey the commands well I think it's easy I'll just blow some of these gently I know you're not supposed to but it's um, pretty much right the way through to the wood or I want these out of the way before I take the take it off here. So there we go. 
west, north, east, south. Not necessarily in that order. Well, there we have the finished plates, two of them. There's another two to go in. And I think they look pretty good. The Got what I call them again. I had them in the back of my mind, but anyway, these are nice small pieces, but they hold it all together quite well and don't leave too much to fix up. So that's pretty good. If I really had my head on me, I would have used the sprut cam because I believe that has a facility for doing this, but. I never used it and it would probably take me just as long to find it as it did to just use the offset command in Fusion 360. Anyway, there it is. The nice thing about the setup here is I don't have to alter anything because my block of wood is clamped to the table and it was obviously I positioned excuse me I positioned the the first pair of plates and screwed them down with this edge using the hymer but with uh, 20 screws in there uh, I'm pretty sure I don't need to even check with the hymer I just put these screws in and it's ready to rock and roll for the next time so I'm not going to do that tonight but and I don't think you want to see it all over again. So it's just a nice quick little job that came my way as a matter of a favour for somebody and well, it'll, it'll be fine when it's finished.